this is something I was really excited about. I do believe, please do correct me if I'm wrong, really. But isn't this one of those old like wash basins like where they did laundry? You know, it's up a little bit and it's at the base of this window like you'd want to see. Isn't this for washing clothes? Do let me know. I'm learning all of these things. Something else that's very old, like the wood above all the, the lintels here. Isn't that what it's called? Lintel, 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 not lintel. That's different. The lintels all have like the marks from when they were cut and chopped down. This is the old fireplace in the kitchen. Here's a cool, cool um, bit of history. Oh, get off of here. This is the old spit right here. This is the old spit. This was a cable that hung to something, rotisserie, if you will. And I guess he had, the seller said he has the crank somewhere. Um, oh, and there's the weight, I think, or a pulley. I don't know. Somehow this, you crank it and it goes through this loop. And that's how you cook the meat over the fire on that crank. Isn't that fascinating? got to see this floor. Can you tell how worn away it is? It's incredible. Even the wood in the threshold is the same. There is a pretty modern shower here on the main floor. Does need a good cleaning, um, but it's nice to have the option when you're on the main floor. There's a sink and another, they have very like modern as in like, you know, whatever you call this, modern type of touches, not just new, like modern, modern. Kind of need to work on something there. Yeah, it's it's nice. It just it needs a good cleaning. Good cleaning. Main floor laundry. Helpful. We bought this from the previous owners because I really wanted a washer and a dryer. So that's what we got.
All right, so in this living room area, and this is more the, yeah, this is like a living room, I think. Sitting room, whatever. There are these two columns, which feel a little bit out of place to me. They don't really go. I'm not sure what I'll do with them. I'm not sure what would happen if I wanted to do anything with them. Um, but they're here nonetheless. I kind of wouldn't mind them not being here. But I don't know what that would do to the floors. So we'll think about it. Again, another room we need light fixtures because they have ripped them off of the wall. And the chandelier. It is nice to have this big, huge cabinet over here. Oh. I mean, it really is fantastic. It's massive. So if I'm five foot five, my head goes to here. So middle of this panel, little under half the size of that sucker. Okay, here's another room. Maybe this will be an office really sweet really really sweet pretty colors I left the curtains which are nice I mean they match I really prefer thermal curtains that will block out sun and cold so they might change we've got these really sweet built-in cabinets and the key has a heart so good place to just put stuff not sure what we'll do with it another light fixture is going to be needed so that's the pink room to leave to more doors that go outside. And this is kind of just a little landing. Um, okay, so here's the staircase. Got these beautiful spindles. It's a wooden staircase and it has been eaten up with woodworm, hopefully old woodworm and nothing recent. That's what all those little holes are, I'm understanding. Yeah, lit by the window here as you go upstairs. There's a stone staircase that leads you to the basement, which we haven't even explored yet since we moved in, so we'll check that out later. But here is another room. Got another landing vestibule thing. That also leads to outside in the front terrace. Another big, huge built-in cabinet. Another massive one. Look at the size of that thing. I'll repaint this because I hate yellow. The last house had yellow everywhere. This kind of yellow and I detest it. So here is the dining room. We have like double doors that lead into here. I will probably repaint. I'm just not the biggest fan of any of these greens. I like green. I don't like any of these greens. I've got the columns carved in. I'll have to zoom in for you. All the way up 
the top. Nice big fat moldings. So this is for speakers. Um, this says like TV, satellite, and I can't make out what that says. Something else. <laughs> but it's great to have all these outlets. I mean, it was well thought out when he did this room because there's those outlets and then the TV hangs on the wall here. Probably why we have these black mini blinds over here not only because they match but um, you know to not be staring into the Sun while you're trying to watch TV because usually that doesn't really go well but yeah there's a lot of outlets all the way around the room see there's one of the speaker connections up there. I don't, I don't know what to think of this. I mean, is this just a extra blank? This is just, I don't know. And some pretty nifty modern handles. They left their little accent tassels. I also like that there's, this is some kind of stone at the base of the windowsill. Just need a big, huge rug, nice, big, huge couch in this room. That'll look great. Oh, and let us not forget a chandelier. It's as I expected. I'm gonna zoom in for you. They took the chandelier and left us with just a light bulb dangling out of the ceiling. If you look in here, There's a dark, unfinished room. There's a light. Here we go. This one just has stone walls. I might just leave it like this. I quite like it. Shutters closed on that window outside. I'll finish repainting this guy. It's neat how it's a closet and it's just built into the wall as if it were the piece of furniture, like an armoire. Isn't that neat? But yet it's just, it's just a little profile. But these walls are painted here really nice. I don't think I'll change any of that. Even this part that attaches to the floor just impresses me. Cause you're going straight, you're going straight. And then over here, those curves, it's crazy. 
just crazy to me. And all the way up here, there's more. I'll zoom in for you. I like that corner piece. You can kind of see where they've attached things together. God, there's a lot of woodworm holes. So I really hope it's not active. I don't see any dust, so I don't think it is, but there is dust in the basement and the cob, which I will show you another time too. Even right here in front of me. Okay, check this out. See the wooden screws in there? That's insane. Just insane. Little pegs. I'll zoom out for you. There you go. Just, I'm impressed. I am impressed. Okay, hi, can you see the reflection? We're gonna take a look at some rooms that we need to finish off ourselves. Here's the floor, very unfinished, dark, dirty. There's the built bit cupboard all the way. All right, let's take a look. Woo. It's just like a mess of wires and things. I. <laughs> I'm going to need some assistance in learning how to do some of this stuff. It's kind of a mess, but I'm going to step over the insulation to show you. There's a whole other bedroom in here that I just never finished. Would you believe? cutting holes into all the windows. Why do you do that? Don't understand. At any rate, um, yeah, it's just drywalled. Most of the seams are mudded. Um, there's some left. That he never finished. It's like he got to this spot and just stopped. It's not like it is. He did get to that spot and stopped. We've got the electrical pulled. So that's nice. Um, lots of outlets. This beautiful floor probably needs a good cleaning. Maybe sanding to get some of these stains up. Good wax and oil or something. I have to learn all just how to do all that. Look at this cute little fireplace. So adorable. Marble, I'm assuming. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, I'm gonna open this. I've never opened anything in this room. Oh, open very easily. Ooh. Yuck, there's a bug. Oh, maybe I can pull the shutters. Oh, look at that. First time opening the window. Okay. Oh, there's a spider up on top. Ew, 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 ew. You can go outside, Mr. Spider. Oof. I really want to close the other shutter. All right, I'll wait for help for that. <laughs> I'm not a fan of spiders, I know. Um, we have to get used to it here, but I'm not there yet. I am not there yet. So when I have my husband come help, I'll have him reach around and grab that shutter. And then we'll close it. Ugh. Oh, maybe I just killed him. Wouldn't that be great? Sorry. I am not a friend of the spiders. 
They all need to go away. They didn't buy this. Ooh, jeez, there goes a big truck. They didn't buy this house, so they don't get to live here. That's my philosophy. Okay, well, there's one of the shutters. That's what it looks like when it's closed. Two more over here. Yeah, I'll have him help me with that. I don't think he's been in this room yet. Okay, so this is one of the unfinished rooms. So we would, this will be the fourth bedroom upstairs. Because there's currently three. Oof. All right, and you want to see something really gross? Uh -huh. This room. This will be a bathroom. It was a bathroom. Oh, it's so bad. All oh, the spider webs, cobwebs, things. Ugh. That's what it looks like right now. There's plumbing pipes in here and a whole lot of insulation. Um, and that's as far as I'm going to go in. <laughs> there is a cupboard behind that door. I believe there was a sink behind the door, which I'm also not going to open. Um, bit of a mess in there, it's kind of gross. This will be a beautiful bathroom someday. And that is a door I believe they closed in They used to go to the room next door. But since you've got kind of this entry area, I suppose you don't need that doorway. How do I close this? There we go. Ugh. Makes me feel like I got things all over me. Yucky. So. We just close this away. And that's that. Let's take a look at the outside. Okay, I have one more really cool thing I want to show you. Take a look. I have always wanted one of these views. <laughs> All the way from the top of the stairs, the winding stairs, all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Just blows my mind.